Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm your host, David. Whoops, and it's a burden. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Um, I want to throw on, throw cards on uh, the Georgia Special Grand Jury that made the recommendations for indictments uh, regarding the um, election uh, fraud case down in Georgia. Uh, Emily Kors is the name of the forewoman. She was making the rounds on uh, on interviews and news stations and such, uh, giving some insight as to what was going on in the trial and what was going on in the jury room. So two questions, or a couple questions. One of the things she said was that um, that uh, there were no there were no you know strange things going to happen. There are no curveballs here. This is really straightforward, which means that. Uh, when Lindsey Graham, it, what this really means is that Lindsey Graham was calling and trying to get them to switch votes. He's saying that's not that's not what happened, but that's pretty much what happened. Donald Trump's on a phone call, you know, asking him to find 11, 12,000 votes, one more, one more than he needs in order to win the election. Come on, you know, uh, give me a break, as I believe is his term in that as well. So th the implication is that this goes all the way to Donald Trump and that the recommendations for indictments includes Donald Trump. So I want to find out, will, uh, will Fannie Willis indict Donald Trump? Is, is Donald Trump going to be indicted for the shenanigans down in Georgia? We know a bunch of people have been recommended for it, and I'm sure the low-level players will be... Uh, boy, cards are jumping out here. I'm going to leave this one up. A lot of low-level uh, players... Uh, will be indicted because, you know, the foot soldiers are going to go in and as well the lieutenants, but it's hard to get the, the folks at the top. So let's see. Will The question is, will Donald Trump be indicted? Or will Fonnie Willis actually pursue an indictment against Donald Trump in Georgia? And we have Ace of Swords. You know, the Sword of Truth, the Sword of Justice. And we're going to cross that with the Four of Pentacles, which is, you know, holding on... Uh, keeping clamped in it could be keeping things oh this is keeping things close to the vest this is uh she she wants to pursue the truth of the matter and justice but she still has to keep her cards close to the vest probably you know if you let too much information get out then um steps can be taken to uh to uh undercut any indictments maybe to block the indictments or even flee the country. So the question was, will she bring bring indictments? And we're seeing the Ace of Swords uh, cross with the Four of Pentacles. She wants to. She can't do it yet. She has to keep things under wraps. In the past, she was at the crossroads. She had to make a decision. Does she uh, does she indict him or not? You know, this is not an easy choice to make. This has implications in the U.S. No former president has ever been indicted of a crime. Of course, none of them have been you know, committed five felonies a day like the last guy, but this is still unprecedented. And it required a lot of decision-making. Current situation, I think um, I think she's satisfied. I think she's satisfied with where the case is and her steps forward with, um, with pursuing justice. But it sounds like she's, there's timing. There's something going on with the timing, and she's waiting on that timing before she releases the indictments. The overall energy is the star. Um, okay, uh, this could be her being the star because certainly if she brings indictment, she's going to be talked about. But, you know, the star is also about hope and faith and um, and items like that. You know, so the, the calm after the storm, as it were. And... I think she recognizes that this is a really historic moment that we're coming up on here. And again, I think that just underscores more that she's comfortable. She's going to bring justice, but she has to hang tight. And then um, the uh, lesson to be learned is the hermit. There's probably some information that's still um, being followed up on or hasn't fully been revealed yet which is causing the pause. But it also, uh, you know, the hermit's also about illuminating what happened. 
So I think it also is basically going to mean when this goes to trial, if he's indicted, uh, it's going to really blow the lid off of what was going on in the background. Wheel of Fortune. This is karmic. This is destiny. This is going to happen. I don't know when, but this is going to happen. And underneath is the Queen of Wands. And again, I think this is her trying to decide when is the best time to take action? When is the wise time to take action? Uh, you don't want to rush this because you don't want to, you get one shot. You get one shot at this and you better make that shot count because you don't get a second shot on this one. So is she going to bring charges against Trump? The way I read these cards, absolutely. Uh, it, the timing's not right yet for whatever reason. There's stuff going on in the background that neither you nor I know about. So uh, there's that. Okay. Next question I wanted to ask is about Emily Core herself, the uh, the young woman who uh, actually. Let's ask about Donald Trump, shall we? Let's, we'll get to Emily in a second. The question I want to ask about Emily, what was her motivation? But I think what we really want to know is how's Donald Trump feeling about all this? Maybe I'll do a separate video for that one. I'll do a separate video for that one. And this one, let's go ahead and uh, ask, and ask about Emily Core. I am curious. What was Emily Core's motivation? She's a 30-year-old woman. She was the jury four person uh, for this grand jury. And she went on a bunch of news shows, you know, talking about the case. And it was allowed by the judge. She stayed within the parameters set forth by the judge. But this is not something that usually happens. And so I'm curious, what was her motivation? Why did she feel the need uh, to basically go on the news channels and uh, go through that circuit? Uh, the world. Maybe she feels like this is her defining moment. Why does she feel like it's just a funny moment? Well, because uh, things are going forward. And that's two major arcana so far. Things are going forward. And she there's choices to be made. Money. She's, uh, yeah, okay. Um, she's going forward. Okay, and underneath it is the two of, Pen is the two of cups. Agreements and such. I think... Uh, She's putting her name out there uh, because it's her moment to shine. She She's never going to be known. She's never going to be any more famous than now. This is her 15 minutes of fame. And she I need to decide what she's going to do to capitalize on the 15 minutes of fame because that 15 minutes of fame is going to leave. That train's leaving the station, whether she boards it or not. And if she boards it, is there going to be a book deal are there going to be paid interviews? I think this is just, this is money. This is an opportunity to make money. And probably given this thing, this is going to be like book deals or an exclusive, uh, you know, an exclusive video interview where they ask her questions and she's going to get paid on that. Okay. Well, I think I'll throw the Donald Trump on this one. Okay. So that's what's happening with the jury foreman. Why don't you do it? Entertainment purposes only. I think this is just an, it's capitalism at its finest, right? She saw an opportunity. She wants to cash in on that opportunity. Okay, so Fami Willis, she wants justice. <laughs> the jury for one, she wants a little fame. She wants her 15 minutes of fame. Hopefully she does something positive with whatever she comes out of with this. Don't be surprised she has a book deal. And then lastly, how's Donald Trump feeling about about this because certainly if she's talking out there on the news shows saying that there are no twists there are no plot twists this is basically going the way you think it's going the implication is donald trump's going to be indicted you know how is donald trump going to react to that i've already thrown cards once asking if donald trump was going to flee and it sounded like you know he hasn't made up his mind but he's making preparations in case he needs to uh with this uh latest information or is, is he going forward with those preparations? Let's find out. He's going forward with the money. He's going forward with offers. He is now going forward with offers. You know, whether it's, you know, think of the pentacles as something valuable. It could be, uh, it could be cash. It could be intelligence. You know, it, again, they've, they've found, he had a, 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 an intern 
copy of flash drive with classified documents on it. There's classified documents in his possession. They're still looking for classified documents. So he's going to look, he's going to go forward to say, hey, I got this. You protect me. I'll give you this. What's crossing it? Uh, the decision, do I stay or do I go? Because his, um, if he leaves, his empire is done. He's not going to be able to defend his, uh, his uh, financial empire from the ruin that will happen. If he stays, he can defend his empire versus that financial ruin, but he might have to face the consequences of his action, be indicted, potentially be arrested, and all that. I doubt we'll ever get to see a perp walk. But So he's, he's torn. Does he stay or does he go? So it looks like, but it looks like he's making overtures to leave. In the past, he's looking at agreements. I shuffle these cards, really. He's he's looking at agreements that he's made in the past, and seeing if he can now cash in on those agreements. Think of again, like a quid pro quo. Hey, I did this for you. It's your turn to do something for me. Okay, so that's that's what he's been looking at. How's he going forward with it? Good lord, it's the same darn cards. I put, by the way, when I put these cards back, I don't put them all on the top of the deck. I mix them up through the deck. And right now, we've had three of the same cards that came through on that last reading, or maybe two of them. So, again, Smug Merchant, you know, this is him uh, uh, being a wealthy man and wanting his wishes and desires. He's, he thinks he's got this, to be honest. This is him. He's like, you know, I've got I've got my plans. I've got people who I've helped out that owe me favors. And he's going to try and cash in on those favors. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it's karmic. Uh, this could be good fortune. This Again, this could be karma. This could be the whole uh, thing coming around. And actually, I like that coming around part. What goes around comes around. And again, that goes with those agreement, with those agreements. But there's a problem. He made agreements. He helped people out. Now he wants that back. But if you don't show loyalty to others, expect no loyalty back. What goes around comes around. You throw people under the bus, they're going to walk away from you. So that's what he has to deal with. The people that he's going forward with the offer, will they, will they accept it? Will they actually take him in? Or are they just going to turn their back and say, it's not enough, you're not worth the hassle? So money, he's trying to create more money, trying to work at probably, you know, protecting his money uh, in some ways because he's concerned about that. He needs to make sure he's got cash. And if he, if he leaves, he needs access to cash so he's not broke. And if he stays, it's to protect his cash. He's leaving. He's walking away. Now, we could throw cards on the walking away. Is he walking away from the United States? Or is he walking away um, from looking at bribes? But this is this is the card of leaving. And if the, the question is, you know, how is he feeling? It looks like he's made up his mind. He's going to go. And there's your chariot card again. And it's going to happen quickly. Um, I think he's put the machinations in... Uh, He's, he's, he's started the process. He has started the process of leaving. Uh, I kind of want to throw... Let me mix up these cards a little bit. I want to throw on the leaving uh, to see, you know, does that mean he's leaving the U.S. or is he uh, abandoning his plans to leave the U.S. for entertainment purposes only? That's kind of exciting, isn't it? Sorry, I don't know. I don't do timing. I, <laughs> I'm hoping for the best that I'm actually uh, doing this reading properly. Uh, timing is it, that's one of the hardest things for what I understand. Okay, I don't have any cards coming. I don't have any cards coming up that really want to come up here. I'm gonna do that one. This one right here. I like this one. Page of Cups. He's leaving. Looking at things differently. He's delusional. More cups, more emotions. More cups, four cups. Offer that he doesn't want. Um, I I'm I'm gonna stick with the fact that I think he's he's leaving the country. You know, it shows him walking away. And again, with the this you have the sun and the moon here. 
the moon, the sun's coming out. The truth is being told. He's being exposed. The secrets, the secrets that were hidden are now being exposed, and he's running from those secrets. So, will Trump stick around? I don't think so. I think he's going to run. So, again, for entertainment purposes only, what do I know? I'm just some random dude on the internet throwing tarot cards. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this reading. It's a little bit longer than my normal ones, but we asked three questions, so five minutes per question. If you like the reading, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, throw a comment. I do try to read all the comments and respond to them in kind. Share if you like. Much appreciate. Have a great day. Bye-bye.